use my cover stitch machine and uh, it has five rows of the thread on it uh, this machine is very old so this part a little bit bigger than the new one so when you hem something narrow uh, it's a little bit hard to put on this part usually I just use this row and this one and this one only and I use three of them uh, to have two stitching line on the top here this one with this thread I put it on the top here and then and the first hole it go to here yeah and go down yes and then the next part it come here yes come here yes okay open this one and then I show you how okay I take this in yeah you can see it go through this part and then in here this way this way yes okay when i get to here and i put through this hole on the back this part is a hard dead part and then i take this one out on the top we have one cover here take this one off so you can see it clearly now Yeah. And yeah. So the bottom one finished, so I do the top one. Okay, we have three holes here, but we do the rear one only. Then go to this hole, and in here we have three holes as well. But we just use the rear one only, and then from that we go down, and again I use the rear one, and yes, and now you can thread it to the needle. now the second one and then go to this hole and then come and this time i go one and then empty and then the next one yeah this part a little bit complicated we have a look closer now and then this one we do on the left the rear left and here 
and then go up here and now we go to the rear left again and this how we do the rear left If we use three row of thread and two needle, we have the hem like this. And if we use three needles with five row of the thread, we will have this one. And I never use this one for my business, so I just use three row of the thread. That. Thank you very much for your watching. See you in next video. Bye bye. Have a good day.